Hello, I am C Master and I am here for Rogue One spoiler talk. That's right. Um, I do apologize about uh, not making a video earlier. I was actually sick, and I'm still in. I'm still a little sick. I'm a little clocked up in the face. But um, other than that, um, I've seen the movie. Yes, and I've wanted to do a non-spoiler talk video. But then again, it, the movie's been out for a few days, so I decided not to. I decided to do actually a spoiler talk. I got a Google pulled up here, my lovely Google. Uh, <laughs> um, I know Jen Urso's name, which is the easiest. I just wanted to have you know everything else pulled up so I can know their names. You know, tell you which scene was cool and everything. But uh, Riz Ahmed character's name didn't show up. I forgot his name. The pilot. That's the name. Yeah, the pilot. Anyway, um, I'm gonna mention you know later on in the video. But overall, that movie was love. That movie was life. <laughs> no, seriously, that movie was really, really cool. I really like it. I, I like it a lot. Um, I like the, um, oh, the one thing I do like, all right, the one thing I like about this um, better, I guess, than Force Awakens, I love Force Awakens, but um, what I like better about this movie is that it actually did, like, for me, Force Awakens didn't really, um, mention the prequels, you know, Clone Wars and stuff like that that much, or at all. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, the, um, they usually just like, you see you the dark, you know, like, uh, that one alien girl, little small midget in Force Awakens, I forgot her name too. <laughs> uh, she was like, you know, Dark Side comes in many forms, the Empire, and now the one, First Order. I'm like, what about the Separatists? You know, what about the blah blah blah. Anyway, that's enough about that. Rogue One, I liked it because, oh my gosh, they got the, uh, they got Bail Organa, Bail Organa, Organa, <laughs> Bail Organa, the character who played in Bail Organa in episode three, he came back. I mean, I, I love that, I really did. And I also loved it that the, um, that, um, the, the um, I liked the movie because, they actually did tie in with the prequels and the originals and everything, Clone Wars and everything. I loved that so much. I don't like. I'm like, okay, now I know that it's stop blacking out. I finally know that it's really connected. You know, because I thought when I watched Force Awakens, I didn't know really. I, mean, I didn't know if they were like shoving off the prequels to say that never happened and everything. But now that I've seen Rogue One, I know what happened, and I'm happy. And all right. So um, yeah, that movie was really cool, and let's not let, let's not get started about the end scene, but we can get back to that later on. Um, uh, yeah, Jin Erso's character was uh, it was really she she their character is really cool. I really like that character. She has a lot of conflict within her, within herself, her soul. Anyway, um, and I love the actor who played as her father, Galen Erso, Mads Mickelson. <laughs> He's a really cool actor. Anyway, and I, like, he didn't play, like, a, uh, a long role, or, you know, the character who's been in the movie for a while. You know, I just like the fact how he, how these characters, you know, just die. <laughs> I like the fact that they just die. But, um, they really made the scene where she walks up, well, she crawls towards her father, um, who died, um, that they made that scene, you know, very emotional, very, very well. Not, not in a type of like corny way where he dies and stuff like that. And they're like, oh no. So that day, oh, she played it well. She, she, she nailed that role. <laughs> really, she did. Especially the part when she was like, she was looking at the hologram. And I was like, wow, that's really good performance. Um, so yeah, it's a cool character. Donnie Yen's character. First of all, I love Donnie Yen. I seen It Man, Eat Man. <laughs> And all sorts of movies I've seen him in. And, um, uh, his character, his name is what? Ch Chirut? Chirut Mwe? Yeah. Uh, he was like a, uh, a really, wow, I forgot the word. <laughs> uh, religious, there we go. <laughs> Very religious person. And, uh, it, <laughs> It does actually remind me, of course, I know Jedi is a religion. Uh, it does actually kind of remind me, like, uh, you would see, like, medieval movies. You see Catholics. They, like, doing these little chants. Ow, my leg. Ow. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I actually like that. Uh, the Force is the forces one with me. The Force is with me or something. Um, 
I like that a lot. It was actually when he died and his friend died, that was really badass and also really sad. I'm telling you, each of these characters' death was very, very well done and actually, you know, got me feeling it with the music. I'm like, oh shit, they're all gonna die. Knowing that they're gonna die, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I mean, they did, wow. It was like, my god, it's like so epic, you know? Very new, too. It's not like, it's not something you see in a Star Wars movie. All the characters die. Um, and, uh, and actually, to be honest, that movie was actually fairly dark. It really was. You know, most movies, well, Disney movies, <laughs> now that Star Wars under Disney. Um, um, Captain Cassie, okay, his name doesn't pop up that well. The Captain, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, his name doesn't pop up. It just says Captain Cass. That's all. Uh, I think I, I, I'm sorry. I forgot his name. Uh, all I know is Jenner so because hers is the easiest and everything. All right, but the Captain dude, I like his character and 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 the things that he does. You know, kind of dark for a Disney movie or Lucasfilm out, whatever. But <laughs> it's like he you know he kills for the rebellion. He does things for the rebellion. He does it because. They're necessary, you know. That's what I like about it. It's like at the beginning when he came up, I was talking to this pilot dude, not the other pilot, the, the guy who got killed in the beginning of the movie. Uh, I was like, whoa! I was like, I did not know that. I was like, is he a bad guy? And I was like, no, okay, he's a full rebel, rebellion dude. Uh, I like that, sh yeah, that little killing right there. It was like, you know, because let's be honest, it's being realistic. If you were in a rebellion and you were against an empire, you would do things that, you know, that are necessary. You know, you might not like it, but it's necessary. So I like how realistic it is. It's not something like, oh, I gotta do my 110% to save him and then risk my life and everything. Risk the plan, risk the information I got just to save a life. I mean, it's realistic, and that's what I like about it. Um, and uh, Forrest Whitaker character, wow, what an extremist. <laughs> but he played that, he played it very well. I like that role. That was a cool role. And he just, like, died like that, you know. Uh, these characters are just, like, you know, falling, falling. And, uh, of course, I noticed, I noticed it before the movie, but uh, the guy who plays as a uh, Wash, Wash, yeah, Wash, in Firefly. Yeah, he's doing a K2SO. K2SO? Yeah, K2SO. <laughs> he plays it on, oh my gosh, when that, you know, that robot, that droid died, I was like, damn. You know, it's just a droid, but that was an epic death. And that was actually really sad, too, because, you know, he's like, and then they died and slammed down, locked the doors. I was like, this is, what, this is intense. Let me tell you, yeah, this movie was extremely intense. And, um, and wow, and let's, yeah, and then the pilot, the actual pilot, his death, I was like, damn, you know. The grenade explosion, this is freaking awesome and sad. <laughs> and uh, and a Death Star. Okay, first of all, uh, I actually do like how it actually takes a while for the planet to actually, you know, because realistically it doesn't, you know, immediately. I think I don't know, I'm not an astrophysic dude, but uh, I actually do like uh, they have to have somebody who has you know the astrophysic background saying you know the planet plan doesn't immediately explode like in two seconds, like an Alderaan did. Rest in peace, Alderaan. <laughs> and, um, yeah, but yeah, in the movie when Bill Organ says I'm a, I'm a, I'm going back to Alderaan, I'm like no in the theaters. I'm like no, no, no. <laughs> but you know, whatever. That happened. <laughs> um, what else about it? Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the Death Star thing. I like how they actually, you know, pssst, took a while for the planet to explode. And then at the end, oh man, it was sad. It was really sad when Jen, Jen Erso and uh, Captain Dude, Captain Cass, because I can't see the rest of his name, Captain Cass, you know, on the beach watching it, man. That was a really good scene. Really good scene. I like that a lot. Uh, man. For the finale, uh, I loved, very much loved, the Darth Vader scene at the end. 
I love that scene. I was in theaters and I felt how intense that was. I was like, if I was one of those soldiers, like those rebel soldiers, I'd be pissing my pants. Really. Right when I see that red glow, I'm pissing my pants. I'm like, oh shit. But damn, that was that scene was just freaking dope. I said, I, like before I saw the movie, I said Darth Vader had to do has to do something cool in this movie, you know. But I was like, wow, I didn't know it was gonna be that. But shit, that was a freaking intense, freakishly intense. Um, oh yeah, and then also I do I, you know, I don't know, not not a lot of people are like a big fan of it, but I actually do like the CGI on the Tarkin and uh. Leia's face, actually. I think that was very well done. To me, I, I like that. I was like, wow, this actually looks pretty good. You know, it's better than replacing it with a different actor. And yeah, it's better. Um, I actually liked it. The CGI was very well done, in my opinion. I was like, okay, I can, I can totally see that. You know, I can totally see that. Pretty good. And, um, but yeah. Yeah, I really did like how the movie turned, um, Brought in the prequels, connecting all the dots and everything. Now I know that Rogue One, I know that Disney is making everything connect, finally. I don't know. Something that Force Awakens didn't really do for me. But I know, no. That being said, I really love Force Awakens. I have it, I love it every second. And I cannot wait to get this on DVD or see it again in theaters, whichever. But um, yeah, that's uh, I love all those scenes. And uh, if you've seen this movie, uh, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. Tell me which is your favorite scene, because my favorite scene. Will have to be the end in general, like the end of war. Oh, I love how the battle is like a really, like a really, what was I saying? Like a war movie, basically. I don't know why I was going with like a really, really well done war movie, whatever. But uh, it was a really cool battle. It was really cool, intense. And those stormtroopers were badass. They were so dope. Anyway, I gotta go over all the characters. Um. I did mention uh, Donnie Yen's friend, which, uh, I mean, is he in there? Yes, he is. John Wen. He plays as Baze Malibus. Malibus. But yeah, these, the cast is just, the cast were great. And, uh, Ben Med Mendels Mendelson, who is a director, or sets on, because the rest of his name doesn't show. But, uh, he was a, he's a bad guy with the white. Cloak. And I forgot his name. Of course, because I was in the movie, I was extremely excited. I just saw the movie. I was wow, and I really want to see it again. But uh, yeah, great cast. Really, really great cast. Great crass. Great cast. Jeez, I cannot speak today. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of the movie. Tell me which is your best scene in the movie. Mine's all, all the ending. Oh, I love the ending part. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future, and hopefully I won't make videos where I'm sick. Good, I don't like that. I don't like being sick. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a lot of pills, drugs, in my system to get all this crap out of me. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, like this video, please, because I, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the future. Alright, bye.